morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to chapel. It's the first one of the year. Are you excited about being at chapel? All right. Well, if you are brand new to FCS, chapel is one of our favorite things here. The first thing we do is we stand up. Everybody stand up nice, straight and tall, quietly. We are going to say three pledges. We start off every chapel of our three pledges. We pledge to the American flag, to the Christian flag, and to our Bible. Okay? If you don't know all the words to all the pledges yet, that's okay. You'll get it for the end of the year. And I've got my pledge helpers today. I've got some fifth grade ladies. Welcome to fifth grade. You're very welcome. I got Miss Alyssa Krauss. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yes, I like to use my right hand and put it on my heart for the American flag. Now, for the Christian flag, I like to salute like a soldier. Because that's what we used to do in vacation Bible school. You are more than welcome if you want to keep your hand on your heart. But I like to use my right hand and salute. This is Miss Mackenzie Eichen. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands. One Savior crucified, risen, and coming again with life everlasting for all who believe. All right, and last but not least, last but not, yeah, is that how you say that? We are going to do the Bible, and I like to put my hands out. Okay, this is Miss Juliana Mamatov. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. I will hide its words in my heart that I might not sin against God. And then we close the Bible. Very good. All right, ladies, would y'all put my flags over there on the side? Thank you very much. There's somebody else that I wanted to tell you about before we really kick off chapel. I don't know where he is. I have a co-host that always comes and does the show with me. Where? Oh, everybody point to Ken. Shh. Remember, fingers point. Very good. All right, Ken's my co-host. He's in a very obvious place today, even though I had a hard time finding him. But every week, he's going to be somewhere brand new. So when you come in, come in quietly and try to find Ken and see if you can find him before the rest of the people in your class. Sometimes he's really hard. He's been way up there before. He's, he's climbed all around the building. He's been on the drums. So he's going to go all kinds of neat places. So try to find Ken when you come in. All right. I don't think I have any really big announcements, but let me ask one thing. Who's taken a star test yet? Has anyone taken a STAR test for reading or for math? Okay, those of you who have done that, if you just raise your hand, guess what? You're ready to take AR tests. Yeah. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just said you're going to take a test and you're cheering? Yeah. This must be a special test, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. If you don't know what we're talking about, AR test gets you lots of prizes and could win you a grand prize, which is a mystery field trip at the end of the year. Who went with us to main event last year? All right, main event had zip line, they had the obstacle courses, they had laser tag, they had bowling and all the arcade games, and that was a really neat chance. For you guys, our top readers got to go to that. Two years ago, we went to the jump zone on all the trampolines. 
That was a lot of fun. So this year we're looking at some new opportunities for people. If you take your AR test, but you have to do the star reading test first. So talk to your teacher about that. Everybody in grades first through fifth. All right. That's all I've got for this morning. At this time, we are going to get our wiggles out. We're going to praise and worship. Let me introduce Miss Aiden Pino. Good morning. How are you? Are you glad this morning? Are you happy this morning? Okay, can you stand up, please? It's time to worship to the Lord. And the Bible said in Psalm 8, Lord, our Lord, how majesty is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory in the heavens through the praise of children and infants. You know that for, for the Lord, when you praise him, he, he, his heart is so, so happy. When you sing to the Lord, the heaven has a big, big party. And if you are here this morning to praise the Lord, say glory to the Lord. Glory to the Lord. Can you say hallelujah? Hallelujah. Now clap for Jesus this morning. <laughs> hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We are going to sing. This wonderful song for you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Are you ready? Yeah. Woo! Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Everybody's ready.
Okay, this size. One, two, three, and... Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Now, can you close your eyes and say, thank you, Jesus, for your love, for my family, for my friends. We declare this day, it's a day you made for us. Thank you, Lord. Your presence is in our hearts. We can feel your Holy Spirit. Your name is wonderful. Your name you is were the word at the beginning. Nothing compares. 
Thank you, Lord. We worship you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Miss Pina. Thank you, ladies. Good job today. Well, can I get somebody to come up and pray for us? Janice, your hand shot up like a rocket. <laughs> I like it. All right. When we pray, everybody, and those of you K4, you guys are new. Listen, what you need to do is put your hands. I like to put them like this in my lap. Okay. You bow your head, you put your head down, and you close your eyes. And you st sit real still and don't say anything. Just listen. We're going to talk to Jesus. Dear God, bless this day. Bless Bless this chapel, bless that we be good at school, and bless my teachers, bless our school, bless that, bless my friends, bless the teachers, and amen. Amen. Thank you, Dennis. Very good. All right. Well, it is the first chapel of the year, and we haven't talked about our theme yet. Did anybody notice anything different on the stage today when you walked in? Well, some of them are baby bags. It's because I had a baby recently, so I got a lot of baby bags. I see some Christmas bags. There's a Hello Kitty right there. <laughs> I like the little puppy right here, the Christmas bag. So I have all these bags, and someone said the word presents. Presents is a good word. But I'm thinking of a synonym for presents. You guys on the front row, you got it. Gifts, okay? The word gift and present are synonyms, meaning they're the same thing. So this year, our theme is gifts. Everybody like gifts? Yes! <laughs> All right. But it's not just any type of gift. Last year... What was the theme last year? Judah knows it is the fruit of the Spirit. Well, we're going to keep one of those words, and we're going to add it on to this year's theme. So you got fruit of the Spirit. So what type of gifts do you think are going to be up here in these bags? You know, in the back? Yeah. Gifts from the Spirit. That is exactly, I'm glad you didn't say fruit. We're not going to talk about fruit gifts and fruit baskets all year long. We are going to talk about spiritual gifts. Can everybody say spiritual gifts? Spiritual gifts. Very good. That is our theme for this year. Okay? In the verse that I want to point you guys towards, and we're going to use this verse a lot, is from 1 Peter 4.10. It says, each one should use whatever gift he has received, he or she, to serve others, faithfully administering God's grace in its various forms. What Peter is saying in 1 Peter is that every single one of you guys that are Christians will be blessed with special talents and special gifts. And we want to use those gifts that God gives us so that we can serve others. And we can love one another and take care of each other. So would you guys like to know what the spiritual gifts are? All right. Well, that's why I brought all these bags today. I'm going to give out some spiritual gifts. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to introduce you guys. And I know the teachers just absolutely love it when they have to come up. But I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to let the teachers open up. I'm going, to let, I'm going to call some teachers out and introduce you to some folks that run chapel today. And they're going to pick out a gift, and I want them to share what they see in their gift. All right? I want you to, if I call you up, I want you to open your bag, tell us what's in the bag, and then give me an example or try to tell me what the word means. Okay? Seems easy enough. My first contestant, because he said it as soon as he saw the bags, is Parker. Hi, Parker. Come on up. Everybody give a hand to Parker. Parker, you can pick of any of the lovely presents or the gifts. Parker's going for, he likes, oh, that's very fancy, Parker. Hey, all right, see what's in there. What do you have? He found serving. 
Can you show it to everyone? Serving. This is a great one for you. What exactly does serving mean? Help other people. Helping other people. Is Parker serving us by turning the music on and making sure the mics are ready? That was a good one. Did you still have it? Let's put it up. I'm going to, when you come up, would you take a piece of tape and you can tape it up here? All right, so serving is one of the gifts. Very good. Thank you, Parker. I see Mr. Alex is hiding over there. Y'all want to let Mr. Alex open a gift? Come on over, Mr. Alex. Thank you, Parker. Okay. My wife wants me to keep the bags. I'm sure she'd be upset if I let those go. All right, Mr. Alex. Oh, he went for the little puppy dog. Merry Christmas, Alex. What did you, you find? I found leadership. Leadership. What is leadership? Leadership is helping others succeed. Yes, helping others succeed by being the person that has to take control. Are all your teachers leaders? Yes. Did you teach Parker how to run the sound system? I did. That's leadership. So very good. All right, would you paste or tape, no paste, tape that up to the front. All right, I saw somebody volunteering someone, so I'm going to take the person that was trying to volunteer the person, Miss Wadivia. Come on up, see what happens when you try to put the other people on the spot. All right, any gift. Which one would Miss Wadibia like? She's getting the giraffe baby gift. All right, let's see what she got. You got a tough one. What is that? Prophecy. Prophecy. What is it? Can you give me an example or tell me what that is? Um, prophecy would be any time you speak for something that's good or any time you speak for something that is in the will of God. Okay, that's intense. That's very good. Yes. <laughs> Speaking the will of God, which means you might say something that hasn't happened yet is going to happen. We're going to talk about all kinds of neat prophecy things over the next couple of weeks. Okay, I'm looking for some more adults in here. Actually, I wanted to get Miss Arnold. Miss Arnold's come back. <laughs> Y'all can cheer on your teachers. Okay, Miss Arnold, pick a, pre a gift. I don't want to call them presents. I want a gift. Welcome to the world. I like that one. Okay, what you find? And giving. 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 What is giving or give an example of Well, there giving. are so many ways of giving. We've been talking about being a servant and giving of ourselves to others. And so we are serving others, and that's a way of giving of ourselves. And then there's also other ways of giving by tithing, by saying nice things to people. So there are many examples of the way that we can give throughout the year. Awesome. Thank you. That's a very good. All right. Will you tape that up to the other side? Okay. Some of these have been open. Let me move those out of the way. Oh, the fifth graders are dying to have Miss Hollingshead go. I'm going to have to call Miss Hollingshead up. Okay. We have lots of gifts left. There are several spiritual gifts, and they're mentioned in many different places in the Bible. Let's see where she picks. She likes, oh, the pretty cross. I like that one, too. Oh, discernment. What is discernment? Um, discernment would include knowing the right thing to do at the right time, um, maybe being able to tell between right and wrong or good and evil. That's exactly right, knowing the difference between right and wrong. People that are discerning, they can tell if someone is not telling the truth. That's a really cool gift to have. Okay, so next, let's see. I need another teacher. Actually, I want Miss Rusev to come up. Miss Rusev, second grade parapro. Oh, you've been looking at the pretty bag. All right. Preaching. Preaching. What is preaching? Preaching it basically means. Um, Speaking the word of God, but also uh, I think we don't have to use words as we already have mentioned before. Our life preaches to others. Absolutely. Yes. Not just your words, but through your actions can you be a preacher. Awesome. Actions speak louder than words. That is absolutely right. That's actually what I taught my high school Bible class yesterday. I'm very glad you said that. All right. I've got my eye on Miss Bunny. And I kind of... I, I've been predicting, I've been predicting something. I'll see if it comes true. <laughs> yes. 
I thought she'd go for that one. I had a prophecy that in my mind that she would take that one. And this is mine, or one of mine. I have one, this one too. This one is encouragement. What is encouragement? This is when you build other people up and make them feel special. And you encourage them to read the Bible. You could do that. You can encourage them if they're having a bad day. You can encourage them. Encourage them by interceding and praying for them. So lots of ways, and I'm, th I'm sure this year we're going to learn a lot. Yes, ma'am. All right, thank you, Ms. Bunny. That's very encouraging words. I knew you'd like that bag. Okay, let's see who is next. How about our new art teacher, Miss Nadia? Come on down. Okay, we've got some nice pretty bags still left. Okay, she's going for the last one on the side. What you get? Wisdom. Wisdom. What exactly is wisdom? Oh, that's a question. Yeah. Go ahead and say it. Wisdom. Explain it to them what it is. What is wisdom? <laughs> it's a, uh, wisdom, it's Making when, the yes, the read, read in the Bible and uh, know the word of God and follow it and uh, be smart to follow the words of God and have a good life. That's right. It's more than just being smart. Because bad people can do smart and very good things. But being wise is what she said, using the Bible, knowing right from wrong. All right. They're volunteering Miss Brown. Miss Brown. I don't have a ladybug bag, but I will call Miss Brown. Miss Brown, our third grade aficionado. I don't. I wish I had a ladybug bag. She's going Hello Kitty. Healing. Gift of healing. What is healing? Um, healing comes in many ways. Um, we can have healing of our hearts, healing of uh, pains in our lives. We all have things that have happened that the Lord needs to work out in our lives. Um, so we can pray for others that need that type of healing. We can also pray for people who need physical healing because sometimes when we have um, like a cold or a broken bone or whatever, uh, the Lord may lead us to pray for someone for, um, that needs healing in that way. Very good. Thank you, Ms. Brown. Good explanation. All right. I'm going to let Ms. Toth. <laughs> Miss Jess Toth, our first grade paraphrase. Okay, we have about six left, or is that five? I can't count. What you find? Evangelism. You know what evangelism is? That is when you go out and spread the gospel to other people. That is exactly right. That is like very well said. Spreading the gospel. That, I looked that word up actually this morning. and That's exactly what it said. Spreading the gospel. What's the gospel? The good news about Jesus. Wow, kindergartner knew that. That's incredible. All right, I'm seeing a lot of pointing to Miss Autumn Nettle. Autumn, she is working with fourth grade this year. Now we have five bags left. Pick any of the five bags. Which one do you like? She wants the beautiful bag. What'd you find, Autumn? Teaching. Teaching. That's easy. What is teaching? It's, um... <laughs> um teachers do? Well, they teach. They teach. Yeah, well, they like, give what? knowledge that they know. Giving out knowledge. Yeah. That's, that's a good answer. Giving out knowledge. I like that. Okay, you can start some over here. All right, let's see. Who's next? Uh, Miss McClay. <laughs> Miss McClay can come on up. Miss McClay is our new fourth grade teacher. Okay. We got four bags left. Snowman, all right. Snowman. What'd you get? Hospitality. That's pretty good for me because I love to host people at my house. And so hosting and teaching, we do our small group, we do, preach the Bible, we help them do that. By hosting other people, maybe inviting other people into my house, 
and into my church and into my classroom. I might be hospitable and help them become friends with me. Very good. All right. Very nice. Hospitality. We'll put the snowman aside. We've got three left. Let's see. How about Miss Pino? Miss Pino's already been up. She can come back. <laughs> you got three bags left. What'd you get? Oh, mercy. Mercy me, mercy. What's mercy? Yeah, mercy uh, is have a tender heart to help people when, uh, when people, uh, yeah, need so to help people is being merciful. We're being merciful today with our dress code a little bit. <laughs> you can think of it that way. Okay, we've got two left. I would like to call Ms. Bollinger, our wonderful K-4 teacher. Oh, I actually have three bags left. Okay, we'll go quick. Is that, was that one open? That's the one Parker did here. Oh, there's two left. <laughs> Sorry. She's getting a little stripey back. Oh, she's sneaking. She's sneaking. Do you ever sneak it and look at your presence? Administration. What is it? That's a big word. What's administration? <laughs> I'm an administrator. Oh, like, oh, people who are in charge and, like, delegate and there tell people what they should be doing and running stuff. Yeah, someone who's in charge, the management or the person who's leading is an administrator. Any of you guys want to be a boss one day? Yeah. The bosses have to have administration skills. All right, and the one person that's probably didn't want to come up the most, and I just wanted to make squirm the whole time, Miss Thompson. <laughs> we have a... We have an odd friendship, Miss Thompson and I. <laughs> That's an understatement. <laughs> the one I didn't want. What'd you get? Languages. What are languages? I mean, are we talking like, like different languages or is this like yeah. speaking in tongues? No, no. Oh, that's what I'm asking. Like There's different, like everybody has different languages? Like, oh, like a gift of like, are we talking like Russian, some English? People, yeah. Some that people are able to learn different languages. I don't have that gift. I only know English and I struggle with just English. So okay. Yeah. <laughs> Easy enough, right? <laughs> it is. It's one of the spiritual gifts, being able to um, interpret different languages. That's something I'm not very good at. But you guys, how many of you guys speak more than one language? You maybe speak Russian and English or Spanish. Some of you may speak Chinese or Korean. See, I don't have that gift. I can only speak English and I'm not even that great at English. But there you go. I think our gifts are open. It looks like Christmas morning over there in a big mess. But that's just kind of a little preview of what the gifts are. Now, next week, I'll be speaking again. We'll talk more about some of the people and the Bible stories that have to do with all these different gifts. And then guess what? Over the next year, all year long, your class can pick one of these different gifts, and you can share the message with your class. Okay, so be thinking about all these cool words. There's even more than this. There's more words than even what I have up here. But this is kind of just an example of some of the spiritual gifts that God gives to us. All right. So at this time, are you all ready for our last song? Okay. Miss Pino is going to come up with the girls again, and we're going to finish out. With our, oh, <laughs> here you go. I have an extra. Thank you. Can you stand up, please? Okay.
to watch us do chapel. She gets to stay back there every day now. So she wanted to say hello. This is Aria. All right. We're going to pray, and then you guys are going to be dismissed. Okay? You okay with that? <laughs> all right. Let's all bow our heads, and let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for loving us so much and for giving us, in, giving us an amazing chapel. Thank you for the opportunity to worship. Thank you for our families and for our friends. And we just ask that you give us a great rest of our day and that we can all stay on green. It's in your holy name we pray. Say amen. Amen. You guys are dismissed. Have a great Wednesday.